Let's see if I can find Yen Wang's apartment. The nameplate reads Yen Wang. Okay, this must be the one. Fenton? Kim! Um, I, I didn't think... Why don't you come on in? Uh, thanks. How do you know... Oh, it wasn't easy. A strange old man told me. But first he needed a photo of your uncle, then he pretended to forget who I was, and... I don't get it. It's a much longer story than it should be. Anyway, I, I know it's been a while, but is Yen here? You don't know? Don't know what? What do you want? Well, I wanted to see your uncle. Why? Are you in interrogations now? I want to talk to him. Why now? Why didn't you come any earlier? He waited for you for so long. Did he? Well, better late than never. Not this time, Fenton. Uncle Wang passed away a few days ago. No. He did. Very suddenly. I can't. I'm so sorry, Kim. What are you sorry about? That you betrayed him and refused to talk to him for over a year? I'm sorry that your uncle passed away, but I never betrayed his trust. No? So what do you call it? What you did was terrible. And the fact that you never told us about it, that we actually had to find out about it from someone else. Don't you call that betrayal? You worked together, you were friends. We were practically family. How did we get you so wrong, Fenton? You hear lies and conjecture. You see words in the paper and you just assume the worst without even talking to me. You call that friendship? My uncle wanted to talk to you, but you just left him standing there. You didn't explain any of it. So we're left with eight Chinese workers shot dead that evening and a missing man. What else were we supposed to believe? You never denied any of it. You'd already made up your minds. Your uncle packed up and left work before I had a chance. Those are just excuses. You knew where we were. You could have come. Either there was nothing to explain, or we just weren't worth the effort. Kim, that's not true. I can't believe you could even think that. You were supposed to know me. You know I'm not capable of... a massacre. I thought I knew you. I also thought we could talk about anything and everything. We... I... I just can't talk about that one thing. Then why are you here? I... I wanted to ask Yen a, Yen a favor. What kind of favor? For the notes from his expedition to Tibet. That's the only reason? Yes. I see. Why do you need the notes? I... I can't tell you that either. Oh, of course. Who do you think you are, Fenton Paddock? You should leave now. Kim, please. These maps are extremely important to me. Oh, really? Then tell me why. If you expect me to trust you, then you'll have to trust me too. Otherwise, get out of my sight. Kim, I don't want to drag you into this. Hello, honey. Ho oh, ho, looks like I disturbed your little rendezvous. Honey? Who are you calling honey? Shut up and listen, girl. I want the maps. The ones Wang sketched on his way through Tibet. Which maps? My uncle never went to Tibet. Stop wasting my time, girl. Or I will lose my temper. I want every single note he brought back from Tibet. And hurry up. Or I will have to motivate you. Come on, hand them over. You okay? What does it look like? Who is that? Mun Tong. A triad boss. Here, take his pistol and keep an eye on him. I'll go look around outside. His crew are rarely far away. Hmm. Looks like Tong's got his men covering the front door. Like I thought. Two of them outside the door. Why is everyone suddenly so interested in those maps? What do you mean? But just before my uncle passed away, Richard showed up here. Then you, and now those men. I want to know what's going on here. Richard? Did Yen show him the maps? Yes. That was about three weeks ago. And? Did Richard take the maps with him? No. Uncle Wang made copies for him. So the originals are still here? Yes. Uncle made me promise to keep them safe. Okay, look, I'll explain everything later. But we need to get out of here, quickly. These guys aren't going to give up. What is so special about the maps? No idea. And you expect me to believe that? No, I expect you to trust me. 
You'll explain everything? Yes, I promise. Okay. Last chance, Paddock. Thanks, Kimmy. Don't push it. Now what? We have to get out of the house. Is there a back door? I don't think so. I've only been here a couple of times, though. Okay, don't worry. I'll come up with something. We'll be out of here in a jiffy. No goal is too high. You're just standing too far below. The hanger fits exactly into the hollow of the bamboo pole. I have to be careful. They mustn't see me. That should work. But I still have to be careful. There's a window. Kim. Yes? Don't worry. Okay, hurry. They've got to realize something's up soon. I'm no psychologist, but I doubt Kim would be impressed if I left her here. Tempting, all the same. Kim! There's a window out there in the hallway. Let's get out of here. Finally! He's probably going to wake up at any moment. This is taking forever. Boss should have been back ages ago. Should I go see what's keeping him? Nah, the boss said we should wait here and orders are orders. Why'd it take so long, boss? <laughs> Did you stay for a cup of tea or something? Shut up. The girl wasn't alone. That guy Paddock was there too. They're gone. The maps too. Paddock? I thought he was at the bottom of the harbor. You thought wrong. They cannot be far. Tell the others and start a search. This time, I will watch him die. Hey, wait. Let me check if it's safe. And what's the grand plan now? We have to get to the airport. We'll be safe at my office for a while. I'll explain everything when we get there. Over here! We found them! Damn! Kim, the truck's running. Jump in and step on it. I'll cover you. What about you? Drive! I'll jump in the back! They're taking the truck! I can see that myself! Get the car! Oh crap! Better find a way to get on the truck. Kim! Yeah? Drive faster! Okay! Let's see what she can do. Kim! The brakes! Okay, whatever you say. Everything okay? Yeah, hurry up! Kim, we can't lead these guys to the airport. We've got to lose them. But I know! Suggestions? Stay on this road. I'll get rid of them. Yeah, I think I could use that to pull the piece of glass towards me.
Whoa. Somehow he missed me. But shot the bamboo clean in half. Well, it's still long enough to try again. of a small piece of tarpaulin. I'll wrap the rag around the end. I've lit the end of the pole. Perhaps not the best course of action in an enclosed space, but as far as Paddock's concerned, fire makes any situation more exciting. I'll take a few rockets out. Tight fit, but it's a good one. Open fire. Idiot, can't you see that they are getting away? What are you waiting for? Put your foot down! The engine's dead, boss. Oh, no. Oh, damn it.